Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today we're doing the next part of the auto broadcast system the first time we did this system where it keeps going round and round in a loop displaying different broadcasts and now we're going to do the random one so if I clear my inventory and I'll tell you the items you need and you'll need hoppers again obviously um, you'll need comparators to detect what's in the hoppers you will need redstone, a block, and a redstone block, and sticky pistons. Now, this is a different type of clock to that one. It's slightly faster, but uh, for now, it doesn't matter. You could probably... Yeah, you'll be able to use this system with it, but I'm just going to be showing off this other type of clock, which is slightly faster, in case you want a faster um, broadcast system. So to start off with, you'll want to place a block with redstone on top and a comparator facing into the block. Once you've done that, you see if you take a look at the redstone, you see there's like a slight outline around it. And just at this edge, you see it's sort of like a cube, but really squashed down. You want to right click there, obviously you want to face this way, so the opposite way to the hopper, so then it's slightly floating. Another way is to literally build up do that but obviously making it the right way or like that but anyway just try and get the piston to face opposite to the uh, comparator thing and now you want to place a hopper down and you want to make sure they're both fa two hoppers and you want to make sure they're both facing into each other so then when you put an item in it it will just keep transporting between them so now you want to do the same on the other side, so another comparator facing out, another block, redstone and piston again. So it should be the same on both sides. Now you just want to shove in a redstone block there and shove in a few stacks of any item. So I'm just going to put in three stacks. So now what this does is, once all of the redstone blocks from this side have transported into this side, this redstone block will flip to this side so instead of being here it will then be here where I'm standing and then once it's transported from uh, over this side back here it will flip over to this side again and it will just keep flipping back and forth so we want to put redstone here and make it lead off so this is where our broadcast system will be but to start off with this broadcast system I'm going to clear my inventory so I have everything I need. Um, for now I'll just keep it as a command block. Um, what you'll want to do is make it lead to here. You'll also want, the way we make it um, random is using a dispenser because if you put, it, put a dispenser down you shove in some items and then when you power it, if you put down a button, it outputs a random random item each time. So that's how we'll be randomly displaying um, a message and to do this we'll put in a special type of command block that has a message stored inside it. So if I get those blocks back and dispenser. So if we quickly just put a dispenser down here, um, you'll need to do this because we're going to be cloning this dispenser and putting it over here. So if we quickly finish off the layout, I'm not going to put anything in the command blocks until I've um, done everything else. But this is where the dispenser will be placed. So if you put that down, just so you know how it will work. You then want to destroy, destroy one block in front of the dispenser and one block down. And place a redstone torch there. This is so that when this is powered and it outputs a block, the block will be powered and we'll carry on the signal this way. So if I put a block here, it's powered. It powers the uh, blocks in front. And you will also want to, I'm gonna put down a repeater there, and you'll also want to put a repeater there coming along here, and finally a repeater there. This is just so that there's a delay. It goes to this command block first, then it goes round to this dispenser, because it needs to clone it before dispensing the command block. And you'll also want to put down a repeater there, a repeater there, and two command blocks there. So as you saw then, um, the 
dispenser just got power, but there was nothing inside it. So now let's set up the messages we want to display. So I'm just going to display two simple um, things as demonstration. So tell raw at a. I'll make it red so you can tell which one's which. Uh, remember to vote and tell raw at a. Oops, not a Z. Slash user seven C. Remember to donate. I'll just put that for now. So that should both be red. Now, in order to get these command blocks and put them inside of this dispenser, um, you'll want to use the pick block button. And for me, or for default, I think it's your middle mouse button or button three, pick block here, right at the top underneath gameplay. Whatever that's set to is what you'll want to click. So normally if you just press it, it will just give you that command. It will give you the block you press it. So if I press that, it now gives, gave me a command block. If I press down here, it gives me sandstone. But if you hold down left control and click it, as you see, it didn't teleport me to the first um, item on my inventory. It kept it here. And that's because it's a different block to the first one. It's now, as you see, in brackets, plus MBT which means that it has an MBT tag, and when you place it and take a look, it has the exact same command as this first one did. So this is a good way, if you want to have a ton of the same command block, they all will have the same command inside them. So this is how, if we just shove this in there, now this command block is basically inside there. If we do the same for this one, and put it in, now both those command blocks are inside here. But now we need to clone this block to here. So, clone, and if you press tab, I'm not sure if I've told you this already, but when you're using anything like fill, if you press tab, it will automatically fill out the coordinates. You need to press tab, then space, tab, space, and it will fill out the X, then the Y, then the Z. So, clone, tab, 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 tab. Then you copy it, and then paste it, and then do tab, tab, tab again copy that command and paste it in here so you're cloning this block to here once you've done that you want to get the coordinate of the block here so slash set block tab 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 air you want to copy that put it in the first command block here so basically when this comes along it will clone that to here then it will co then literally a sec at least a second later like half a second later it, the dispenser will dispense the command block a random command block this will then go along here and set this block back to air um the one that's just been dispensed so that one as you see but the problem now is this doesn't update because it disappears so fast, this doesn't update, which is why we've got a second command block and this unpowered repeater. So if we clone this unpowered repeater to here, it will then update um, the redstone there and the repeater. So if I quickly destroy this, play it, and it says remember to vote. But as you see, this didn't work. The block can't be placed because there was already a block there. So if we do it again, it should work. There we go. Remember to vote. Remember to donate. Remember to donate. Remember to vote. So each time this flips over, you can change the time it takes by putting in more or less stacks of items. And it doesn't matter which item it is. Depends on how quickly it will flip. You can have another one coming off the other side here. You can have more dispensers going along here to more stuff if you really wanted to. You could even make this lead to a clock which then slowly ticks round and once it's got round it will then do another broadcast and so on and so on. So as you see the white one is that and the red ones is this so if I just quickly speed it up remember to donate remember to donate remember to vote and it will just keep doing that again and again but I need to put those stacks back in so I don't get spammed. I'll just fill it for now, just so it's not constant. Uh, where's this? I'm going to put some more stacks in there. Okay, that's probably too many. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you in the next video.